Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm at the uh, demo day at uh, Wheels Motorcycles and I've already been on the uh, Suzuki GSX 8S and they had this ZX 10R available <laughs> and I stupidly decided to take it out. Being on group rides is that you don't know who you're going to end up in that ride with and a trap in front I just don't know how he's got a license sorry but <laughs> he's nearly dropped the bike a couple of times I don't think this is going to be ending very well unfortunately but anyway The uh, ZX-10R um, Well, be under no illusions This is a sports bike uh, And uh, comfortable it is not I am in agony already and I've literally just rode out of the uh, dealership Stay there. That bloke is dangerous. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is uh, absolutely not comfortable. <laughs> And I've she been a screaming for you have to rev the tits off here to get a performance. <laughs> I'm sure once I get on the open road though, it will start making sense. Okay, so the upshot is on dual codeways. It's not that bad, you can, it's bearable and that uh, bubble screen is doing a pretty decent uh, job of uh, getting the wind off you. So I didn't realise I was going to be taking this bike out because it was a, someone had cancelled. So yeah, I've got nobody on the specs, but but yeah, it has uh, obviously all the usual ABS traction control. Quick shifter and a lovely nice TFT screen actually, which is nice to look at. What a howl! <laughs> Yes, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, the only problem I'm having is uh, actually get my feet under the gear lever. My uh, left foot under the gear lever, my left boot. <laughs> I've got the Altberg's Road Runners, which are more of a touring bike. Boot. So yeah, these sort of speeds, you can get away with it. It's not that bad, you can shuffle about. Engine-wise, as I said, this is typical uh, inline-4 performance bike. You have to rev the tits off out of it to get anywhere. It's 
suspension wise though, it's doing a reasonable job of uh, coping with these roads. It's not actually as uh, hard as I was fearing. Getting a good feel for what the chassis is doing. Getting good feedback from the tyres as well. The seat isn't too bad either, to be honest. The seat is actually surprisingly comfortable. So that riding position, my uh, knees are bent at an acute angle. <laughs> Pretty much the most I can bend my right knee, to be honest. In terms of switch gear, it's fairly complicated, there's a lot of buttons on there. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get a proper feel for them. But they feel nice to use. We've even got cruise control. Press the cruise control button twice, it sets your speed, and then you can go, yeah, press and hold the up button or a down button to uh, adjust your speed. I would love to put it in sport mode, but. I can't work out how to do it. I don't know if it's something you have to do. Ah, oh, here we go. Press and hold. Right, we're now in sport. Still recording, yeah? All the levers feel nice. The only thing I would say is the, the brake and clutch levers. Again, for such a performance oriented bike, a little bit nasty. But yeah, that's uh, easily changed. And also, no adjustment on the clutch. No, not adjusters. On the clutch lever. How annoying is that? So, around these uh, villages, uh, it's as expected. It's cruciated. <laughs> I'm trying to raise my vision as much as possible, but uh, I'm going to put my neck on, I need a massage after this. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've uh, been a sports bike, actually. I think the last one I rode was the uh, electric one, the uh, Energica. The uh, Ego. <laughs> And it just kind of reminds me why I've never brought one. <laughs> I mean, does does this make sense on the roads? No, absolutely not. I mean, if you're not going to do any track days, and you go, you are going to be better off with a a naked bike. There's no two ways about it. Then again, some people are just addicted to sports bikes and some people can stop at the riding position. It's not too, to be honest, it's not too wristy. My wrists are fine. It's uh, the legs more than anything. Well, knees precisely. I mean, if you're a magazokist, you could tour on one of these. <laughs> so the quick shifter, lovely and smooth actually. As smooth as vegan butter to be fair. what we like in terms of fueling. I'd say it's absolutely fine actually. On these low speeds 
in sport mode. It's all right, actually. Getting a good throttle response. So in town, you can sort of like grip the tank and uh, hold yourself upright so it's not as bearable. I'm actually dialing into it a bit more now. <laughs> but at first it was, wow, agony. <laughs> Brakes as expected for the sports bike, really good. Front and rear, to be honest. The rear, well, I can't really test properly, but yeah, seems to be good feel from them. Right, here comes the fun. Suspension is lovely. I get such good feel for what a bike's doing. I'm far from a riding god, but this uh, this compliments you. Compliments your riding. The mirrors are pretty good as well. Actually, I've got a good view outside, and they don't look too bad either. At these kind of speeds, this is where it makes sense. Because I'm actually fairly comfortable now. Okay, I'm five foot ten. I'm flat footed. While we're here, stop side stands easy as well. I'm absolutely paranoid this guy's gonna bloody come into the back of me, to be honest. Yes, yeah, so that TFT dash as well is quite nice. All the info you need again. Your speedo, your gear indicator, all prominent. Tell you what, it's really nice over these bumps. suspension is so well composed you'd be happy with this on a touring bike for this setup so I don't really have much else to compare this bike to the last sports bike I rode was the uh, energy ego which is obviously electric and completely different and uh, so how does it compare to something like the S1000? From BMW and uh, the Fireblade, I don't know. It's 
so I can't compare it to any others. But uh, yeah, from this uh, short test ride, check you're still recording. I can definitely say it's just if it's a brilliant bike, I love it. I wouldn't own one personally though. Because of that riding position. For me it'd be the uh, naked version every time. Then again, if I had space in the garage for an, uh, under money, you know, I definitely have a sports bike in there as well for the odd time that the mood takes you. So I think that's about all we can go over on the uh, ZX10R. So once again, thanks to Wheels Motorcycles for uh, letting me ride it on their demo day. Again, they're a great bunch of people. I brought my uh, 200 from there, so I am a customer. And they're a multi-bike franchise, so there's lots of choice there. They've also got plenty of uh, used bikes. So yeah, it's definitely a destination dealer. <laughs>